Michelle Kaufman. I'm an architect specializing in thoughtful, sustainable design. As both a designer as well as a homeowner, I like to think about ways that I can collaborate with the environment. So I developed what I like to call five eco principles as a way to help me organize choices that I make in my daily life. In this episode, we're going to talk about energy efficiency. There are so many things you can do to your home, starting with thinking about the envelope, thinking about the walls and the roof. Great insulation pays off. It can be great to consider insulation systems like a spray and foam. This fills the cavity, so it not only is really energy efficient, but it also then doesn't have air, so it has the least probability of moisture and therefore the least probability of mold. It actually exceeds the American Lung Association criteria for a healthy home. This in conjunction with really efficient mechanical systems like radiant or high velocity mini duct systems can be a wonderful way to cut down your energy bills. The other part of the building's skin is glass. It's really important to look for dual pane or triple pane glass that's low E. This is really going to help with insulation as well as cutting down heat gain. These elements like the insulation, the mechanical systems, and the glass are going to help lower how much energy is required. But there's also a lot that you can do in the home to use less as well. We hear a lot about compact fluorescent lights and that's great because they're way more efficient than the incandescent bulbs. But there's also LED fixtures that are out on the market and those can actually be 90 times as efficient as incandescent bulbs. If you're shopping for appliances, look for Energy Star ones for your dishwasher, your refrigerator. This will really help reduce the amount of energy required to run them and also can save on water too. Another really good thing to do to save on energy is actually to provide proper sun shading for your glass windows and doors. It's great to have operable ones so you can change them throughout the day and throughout the year. So during the summer months you can actually close them in the afternoon but make sure that they're open in the winter when you really want the heat coming in. Another thing to consider is sliding wood sunshades. These really cut down on the amount of sun and heat gain but still allow the breezes to come through in the summer. Rising energy costs can be scary so it's great to know that there are smart attractive choices out there. Hopefully this gives you some ideas that you can incorporate into your life as well to help you let the green in. Once again, I'm Michelle Kaufman. Thanks so much for watching.